Hello. Today we're going to talk about sprung suspension and in particular we're going to talk about the spring part of a sprung suspension. The spring is there to suspend the truck in the air and the ideal neutral position is when your truck's at rest it's 50% through its travel. That gives you 50% upward travel, 50% downward travel and that's very useful because as you climb over uneven surfaces you want your wheels to be able to go up to get over things and not disturb the body too much but you also want them to drop down into any divots without tipping the body into them. Now some people run a droop suspension and my comp crawler runs a very low suspension but we'll pick up on that at the end. The main point would be if you're finding that your truck cannot sit at 50% when you've wound off the preload adjustment, then you probably want to look at some softer springs. They come in usually soft, medium and hard. And also if you've wound the preload all the way down and your truck won't sit up at 50%, you probably want to look for a, a firmer spring, either a medium or a hard. And that will give you a really neutral handling. It will counteract some of the body roll that you might have as you're driving around but there are a few other things that you might want to do with your springs. Now I've said 50% is a good start but if you're doing any kind of serious hill climbing then dropping the front to about 60% sag and lifting the back to about 40% sag will give you a slightly tipped forwards sort of attitude of the truck so that when it's lifted up the front stays low because there's no spring pushing it up and the back stays high because there is a spring pushing it up and that keeps your body with the weight pushing down on the front which can really help you get up some grippy surfaces that you otherwise would normally flip over and tip backwards. The other thing you can do with your shocks is to get extra articulation is you can lay down the springs, uh, lay down the shocks. And, so, and some people call this the alpha effect or something, but what, what they're essentially referring to is a thing called the alpha angle. And the alpha angle is the angle between what the shock is leaning and straight up. What this affects is spring rate. As that alpha angle increases, it softens the spring rate, the effective spring rate that you have. So as you tip your shock over, you get a softer shock. Part of the problem is, as you compress that shock and the suspension cycles, you increase the angle, which decreases the spring rate, which then means that the spring isn't doing the work in the same way that a traditional up-down shock would do, which is linearly getting um, stiffer and stiffer and stiffer so that you don't smash through all the travel. But if you set the alpha angle to be not too dramatic, what you can get is still an increase in spring rate as it goes through the travel, but just an overall softer spring. But it's not as linear, it's, it's almost inversely progressive. Instead of getting harder, it, it gets easier, but the spring rate is increasing because it's compressing. So it just, just takes the edge off some of the performance characteristics. On this truck, it actually has a really, really laid down shock. And the reason for that is articulation. This truck has a really low center of gravity because I'm running the suspension super low. I've got my shocks laid down which brings the wheels higher up into the chassis because you've shortened the overall height of the shock by tipping it over. But through wonderful geometry, you end up getting more clearance because as you tip a shock over inboard, you increase the amount that the wheels can move through their arc of travel. And so the slightly wonky spring rates are the downside but the extra articulation and the lower center of gravity are the upside so like everything it's a complete trade-off but I would always recommend to anyone who's trying to work out what's happening with their suspension is to start with that 50% and then from there 
start looking at other things like damping or maybe if you're not getting the articulation you want looking at either longer shocks but keeping the linear spring rate or laying the shocks down which will give you the articulation and you can just wind the preload up to put a bit of stiffness back in and they work quite good. The other reason people tip them over is just to lower the center of gravity because you're taking all that fluid in the top of the spring and, and bringing it lower into the truck and they don't weigh a lot but when you've done all four corners and brought them down it, it, it can bring you know quite a few grams a good sort of inch lower than, than they were originally. That's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it gets you started on suspension tuning. The next video will be about damping and how we can control the body but also control any skipping or bouncing that we get as we're trying to get up stuff. Again, chuck any questions in the comments and hopefully you enjoyed this video, so give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, well, subscribe and you'll get the next video in your feed. Thank you very much.